To my Peterborough United cream, I want to say thank you very much for joining me. And my name is DSG. Just so you know, you may be wondering, I've changed my name. Yes. Um, but what I've decided to do, I wanted a fresh start um, with certain things. Not necessarily fresh start, but I've changed the name to DSG, which is just my initials. The channel's still called Welsh and DSG, but it's kind of. If you look it up, it'll come up as DSU. So if you have noticed our change in your sub boxes, that's the reason why. Um, but also as well, a lot of stuff has changed. That's my Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. I've now made a new Facebook page. And also my Instagram. So... My Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram are all called the official DSG. And when my actual uh, Facebook page reaches 25 likes, so if you want to go check that out, make sure you drop my Facebook page a like. It will be very highly appreciated if you do, because I update quite frequently now. It will be called the official DSG as well. So we have kind of changed it up a little bit, and my Twitter's changed to the official DSG now as well. So yeah, like a lot of stuff has changed, so I kind of wanted to do it, because what happened was, I was on Twitter, and I was like, you know what, I fancy quitting, like, I just wanted to change, I wanted to stop YouTube and whatnot, that kind of went through my head a couple of times, uh, hence the reason there's no video Sunday, because um, I took a break, I went to Fort Park, I went out Saturday night, just so you know what, let's sort of try and clean my head, because I think it was kind of just, it's certain days where you have with it, and when stuff doesn't go your way, like a lot of stuff hasn't gone my way recently, and I kind of thought, you know what, I want to stop. But then I kind of talked to Van Gogh, he said maybe it would be fine the next day, and I was. So it's Monday now, and I feel fine, I want to make stuff, so I'm kind of back on. So I decided, you know what, I'll change stuff up. But make sure you follow me on Twitch, guys, because I'm streaming a lot more often on there. I'm going to be streaming at least every Wednesday night, and then if I can stream more, I will be uh, streaming um, obviously every other day. So obviously I can't do it all days because I'm in university, I have YouTube videos to make, but we'll see. Um, and unfortunately I can't stream on weekends because I'm not actually home on weekends most of the time. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's all changing. So make sure you check out my Twitter, my Twitch, and also my Facebook page. So yeah, everything's called the official DSG, and all the links are in the description below, except for my Twitch actually. So make sure you go follow my Twitch; it's brand new. Uh, but anyway, let's crack on into the video. I want to say thank you very much for joining. Make sure you drop the video a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And uh, anyway, we got Fernandez. We're close to 19k as well, so make sure we do drop the video a like. We get a chance. He comes off the post. So does Anna. We are winning up against Ren, and this is a massive win game, especially in the league now because. What is, they are the team above us with uh, Sunderland, so if we can win this game, we're going to be happy dibbly days. But anyway, here we go, they're on a full Kanu, Welsh, uh, Robson Kanu, the Welsh guy, does end up missing, the good defending, and then 86 minutes in, the final whistle blows, Smith with man of the match, with a match rating of an 8.1, and that is obviously, of course, our right back. We only win this 4-4-2 at the moment, it seems to be working, Kone and Solazano doing pretty decent actually up front. Uh, Solzano starting to get his goals now and uh, looks like he could be our leading top goal scorer very very soon Obviously McCann is still up there But we need to kind of see um, Whether he'll be starting more often because McCann's uh, not in that right forward position anymore So he's not gonna be getting goals as much as he was Originally so it doesn't really matter uh, Anyway because we can't really judge him now he's in midfield But he's getting a lot of goals and uh, let's have a look at this side uh, McCann playing left midfield, left uh, centre mid, and uh, Jack Payne is also starting back in as well. We're kind of dropping Zelma or ZLM um, as well, um, but uh, we are kind of dropping him because it's because like T Payne's playing well, and then uh, Ruddy, we are playing as Black, and the team I actually support, so people that don't know, um, I do support. But actually, guys, if you want, leave a few questions in the comments below because I can answer them in videos and stuff. I could do a QA one day, but. Uh, Feel free to leave questions because I answer. But I do support Blackman, so Reddy ends up scoring it. How the hell it went in? But we put through ball to Kone. Kone on the attack. What's he going to do? He's going to square across to Solzano. Solzano almost <laughs> sprinted too far the ball, but gets back. Ends up putting it in the back of the net to make it 1-1. One, one. 18 minutes gone. And what a finish from Solzano. And what a play. And a lovely counter-attack football from Peterborough United there. And we make it 1-1. One, one. Solzano on the ball now. What's he going to do with it? Just wait. I love doing this. Do it all the time recently. Solzano goes to the shot. And it's over the bar. And not at all. 
a decent shot whatsoever. But anyway, Varney on the ball. And so, oh, we end up winning the bat now. Payne, Jack Payne. Look at this. Puts a through ball to Solizano. So far, Solizano gets past the keeper. And ends up putting in the back of the net. 2 1 up now. 51 minutes gone. We're in to the second half. And what a goal that was. An absolute brilliant play from Solizano and the rest of the side. And yeah, we keep winning the ball right on the on the halfway. Solizano on the attack again. And he's chilling on the last defender. Such an amazing position to print the player. Solizano with the goal. Makes it. 3-1 and as well Griffiths is coming back soon so with Solazano getting the goals Kone playing well is there any point of bringing Griffiths back should we just loan him out in January we'll see will we even be with Peterborough because apparently we may be getting sat but we'll have to see um, in coming games but anyway we end up conceding 3-2 80 minutes in how the hell Alwick ends up conceding this goal I, I don't know but this is the reason I do end up deciding to drop him um, it would be absolutely fair. Uh, but you know what? I'll end up dropping him. Um, I think I'll drop him after this game or even the next game, uh, next episode. I'm not too sure. But we ended up winning, so it was pretty good. But a little mistake like that could have cost us the entire game. Can you imagine it was 2 1? Uh, Sozano with Man of the Match scoring a hat trick. Uh, and we end up getting close to second place, only two points behind. Our goal difference is not very good. So if we can buy a few more goals. So anyway, McCann now with seven goals. Solizano with six goals. So he's pushing up there. Solizano. Hopefully he can get top goal score very, very soon. Taylor with five assists. I believe we do have someone else up there. And also, Alwick has actually got five clean sheets. So, he's got a load of clean sheets. But do we actually consider dropping him? Because he's cost us a lot of goals. Um, like, I want to dominate games. I want to have a lot of clean sheets. But anyway, here's the lead table. Sunderland. This is top of the table clash. So, two top of the table clashes there. Um, second and third and our first and third um, so yeah it's uh, going to be interesting obviously Blackman the bottom of the table player team but anyway side I believe we do have the same goal yeah we do have Alwick in goals just how to keep it as we uh, normally do but anyway get a chance here Sunderland completely dominate against because let's be fair they still have the same side they did when they got relegated so they kind of have a Premier League side I think that's a bit of the the problem is that we are playing against Premier League side and they can dominate us pretty easily. But yeah, we do have uh, Alwick in goals. 70 minutes in now. Not much actually happening um, with this. But we get a free kick here with McCann. 34 yards out. We put it out. It kills back in. And it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Quality save actually. It looked like it could have gone in. Maybe we could have gone a bit more further out and it would kill bottom uh, corner. But anyway, we put the ball over the top to Kone. Kone coming in. What's he going to do? We're going to chip it over the goalkeeper. And he hits a post. Oh, my God. 84 minutes in. We could have made it 1-0. And we could have possibly won that game there. 87 minutes in. Now, this is where we started. Uh, taking advantage of the tiredness. Fernandez on the ball. Puzzle through to my left back. Left back crosses the ball in. On the McCann. Oh, McCann almost getting it. And it drops to someone on the six-yard box. Unfortunately, doesn't go into the back in there. And we get another chance here. Solizano. What's he going to do with it? I think that's it, actually. And we do end up drawing that game 0-0. So, Alnwick is a bit of a mishit sometimes. sometimes but anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I want to say thanks for watching. My name is Welsh Dragon DSG. And I want to say I'll see you next time. Goodbye.